Hey everyone, Adnan Sahnam Fikum, and welcome back finally for another annotated transcript video. It's been a long time, I've been mostly working on the website as you all know, um, and we've made a lot of progress. And actually, version 1.0 is officially released, but as you can see here, this is what the website looks like. It's basically just um, the, the dictionary right now. That's version 1.0 with the dictionary and uh, you know the the user creation system actually other parts of the website are technically there in the background but i rather people not be able to access it yet because i would still need to polish it so um yeah there's actually basically a lot more to the website already created but i need to sort of fix it up and rather than delay things further i want to at least put out the dictionary um and sort of the the first kind of steps of the dictionary or I mean of the website in first portions so um, yeah I, I'm not gonna walk you through that because obviously this is a an annotated transcript video right now there's only like a few words because I haven't actually been putting words yet I've just been working on the website um, but I will be using the website right now um, I'm gonna log in I'm gonna be using it because this is where I have the annotated transcripts. Now, this is something you are not able to access yet, but eventually, of course, the annotated transcripts will be on the website. Um, so, yeah, that's what, this is what, the, see, it's already technically there, but only my user can access it. Um, so actually, believe it or not, uh, last annotated transcript I made was a long time ago. I don't remember when. Um, actually, I don't remember when, but, um, we did the first half of this video, Min al Harami. Uh, so we're gonna do the second half today. And actually, there's even another. Oops. There's even another annotated transcript that I've uploaded. It's been up there for a while, actually, but I haven't made a video. So I want to get through this today. And honestly, I think I'll, I'll. I might actually be doing the sixth annotated transcript, probably in short sequence. Um, after this one, here it is. Um, it's actually not very or is it long? I don't know, it's kind of long. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, anyway, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I kind of wanted to say some things about the transcripts and the website and stuff like that, but I'm gonna not do that so that we can focus on this. Now, obviously, um, if you are watching this, you've watched the first half and you've probably also watched a lot of the other annotated transcript videos, so I'm going to assume that your level of Arabic is pretty uh, good. So I, because I've always spent kind of a lot of time um, explaining even some basic things. So I'm going to try to avoid that this time and really just focus, uh, as I would do with my students, on the stuff that you don't know. Um, obviously, I can't know that because you're watching this video on YouTube. But um, because of, you know, the fact that this is the fifth Amtage transcript and everything, I'm going to kind of try to skip over things. Um, in fact, in the whole website itself, the annotated transcript section is meant to be a kind of sort of level four, or I forgot how many levels I have at this point, but like a, a level after even the actual lessons. Um, so yeah, if you get a little bit lost, go back and watch some of the videos about some of the more kind of basic stuff. Um, so uh, without further ado, Let's um, stream check. Yeah, everything's working. Okay, so yeah, so let's get started. So uh, where where were we in the video? So basically, um, basically there was like they were hungry and there was like no food, so they went to buy food. Um, and Sally, Sally's friend was not able to buy a novel that she needed to summarize for her class. So here Abu Sanad is uh, sort of studying with Sanad. So he says, Habibi Sanad, مش صعبة كلمة شيطان. And then he says something in Fusha. Shaitan is also the, it's the word for beaches in Fusha. So there's some kind of little Fusha tidbits here and there. That's just a Fusha word, so don't worry about it. Um, so obviously Habibi Sanad, the, the word Shaitan is not difficult, right? And then he, he reads something from a book. Then Sanat says, Baba and I'm uh, from the verb brakas to concentrate or to focus. So I'm not focusing. Uh Ja'an, I'm hungry. Uh by the way, uh, actually if you if the harakat was not there, this could also be read as the word markas. So it has the same root to concentrate, to focus, and the word markas, which means center. But this is Mrakkas, active participle. 
آه طيب روح كل اشي ورجع لي اركض so okay go eat something and come back to me run <laughs> then Salah says Baba ما عنا اشي نوكلو we have nothing like this عنا is عند right like عندي but the D gets kind of cut off because عندنا you know so عنا we don't have something for us to eat it بدنا فواكه وخضار وشيبس وشوكولاتة so we need all of these things right this different kinds of foods شو لسه امبارح جاي بأقراض so what like لسه امبارح so first of all the word لسه it means still but know that it can also be used to say just so let's say yesterday for example لسه امبارح just yesterday or لسه هلا just now right so لسه هلا وصلت على البيت I just now arrived at home I just got home so it has those two meanings um so just yesterday جايب أغراض I have brought stuff so um remember that active participles can be used either as a present um continuous verb or as e as a past perfect like a completed action so in the case of مركز from the verb مركز it it's present continuous it's focusing I am focusing right now أنا مش مركز or I'm not focusing rather whereas جايب it has a past perfect meaning so أنا جايب أغراض means I have brought stuff to the house أنا كاتب رسالة I have written something I have written a, a letter so ما بعرف شو هو كاتب على الواتساب what has he written on whatsapp I don't know something like that um, so verbs active participles can also have this meaning and it kind of is um, w which meaning it's going to have it's kind of a case by case basis but actually the the sort of present continuous ongoing action meaning which most people are familiar with it's actually like 0.1% of verbs actually work this way uh, but they're the most common ones like you know you know they're so common so people get used to that meaning but most of the time I would say that it actually have a past it actually has a past perfect meaning um, so that's that about that um, type Sanad says مش أنتو بتقولولنا كلو صحتين لازم تأكلوا عشان تكبروا so aren't you مش أنتو so aren't you um, Actually, it's not really how it, what it's saying. So, entubit ululna means you say to us, right? But the mish is kind of saying like, isn't it, right? Isn't it you, basically? So, or isn't it that you say to us? So, entubit ululna, you say to us. Normally, if I were going to negate this, I would negate this with ma. Entu ma bit ululna. But it's not really you don't tell us. It's isn't it that you tell us so that so the mish is kind of operating on its own on the side um, isn't it that you tell us uh, kulo uh, plural of um, of kul eat kulo sahtain sahtain is like bon appetit or you know just um, to your health basically you have to eat so that you'll grow right thick bottom kibir to, to get big to grow uh, sanat says uh, abu sanat says mazboot correct uh, خد, uh, خد ور... what? Oh, okay, yeah. It's uh, not an active participle, it's a verb. Um, uh, so, uh, take the book and go over the reading quickly. So, raja, so raja is to return. Raja would be, as an active participle, it would be to like I'm returning, you know, who Raja I'm in Minashawar. He's returning from work. But there's also a verb which is Raja, um, which is form three with the alif. And it so happens that the command form, because it has the kasra here, it ends up being exactly the same as the active participle of form one. But this verb, it doesn't mean to return, it means to sort of revise or to go over like the reading or you know the questions or whatever. Um just one second. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, then he says, uh, Dina. So that's his uh, wife, uh, Imsanan. Dina, ta'ali shway. Biddi ahki lak ishi. So come just a bit. Come a little bit. Come for a sec. I want to tell you something. Shufi, what's, what is there? What, what's, what is it? Ish malik. Mal 
plus a suffix, it means, or it doesn't have to have a suffix. It's like, what's wrong with something? So, Ishmaelik, what's wrong with you? But not like in a in an accusative, accusatory way, just like, what's wrong? Ishmael um, is zalami. What's what's wrong with the guy? What what's what is he? You know, uh, or like Ishmael al ahwe. Like, what's wrong with the coffee? I mean, you know, is it is it does it taste bad or something? So yeah. Then he says Ismail. Wala yumkin. Wala yumkin means there's no way. So wala uh, is used in this kind of negative way, like wala uh, makan nowhere, wala hada nobody, wala ishi nothing. Wala uh, yumkin, no way, no, so yumkin is maybe, but it's like no maybe, no possibility, there's no way. Wala uh, yumkin, yeah, wala yumkin ikunu il agrad illi jibthum imbarih khallasu, or khallasu actually. Um, so there's no way that the agrad, the stuff, agrad is things, stuff, that the stuff that I brought them yesterday uh, would be basically finished. That they that they would that they could be finished. Um, yani the the so this is the subject, and then the verb is actually ikunu khallasu that they would be finished. It's kind of a weird construction, but um, yeah, I'm thinking of another way to. To kind of break it down, but I think it's kind of self-explanatory. Uh, okay, شو إحنا مربين وحوش في إننا. So رب uh, means to raise. So مربين um, means okay. So so رب means to raise. مربي is the active participle, and مربين is um, the the act the the plural form of the active participle, and it means. Uh, to have raised, actually, I said, are, are we raising? But I mean, we have. So, have we raised? Right with the past perfect meaning, have we raised beasts? Uh, who is beasts? Fi um, inna. So inna is like a. It's kind of a fusha thing, I guess, but it's kind of used as an expression in the dialect. Like, it's like an if. Like a, there's like a there's like a there's like a. I don't know and if like there's a doubt there's a there's something going on basically um i'm going to go buy stuff or issa he says um i'm go and i'm going to know what's the story um like what's going on so in said said طيب معليش بس خليني اروح اشوف مين على الباب وبرجع لك uh, so okay, fine. Uh, but uh, let me go see who's at the door, and I'll come back to you. And then Abu Sanad says something like in Fosha, he's like acting like a detective. Okay, next scene. Uh, now it's Im Sanad opening the door for Im Yazan, who's like her neighbor or whatever. So Im Sanad says, "Ahlo sahlan ya," or "Ahlo Im Yazan." Tfadli shu maaki ashuf. So. Um, so yeah, totally like come in. Shuma what's what, what what do you have? Can I see? Um, yeah, notice that ma um, it has two ways that you can put suffixes on it. Like it has basically two different construct forms. There's just ma by itself, ma'o, ma'ek, matalan. But there's also a form where it has this like long alif. So ma is with him. And so you can have ma'o and ma'a. You can have ma'ak. Or you can have ma'ak for feminine, ma'ak or ma'aki, because since it's ma'a, like with the with the alif, you can't put the kasra that would be for ek for female you. So when that whenever that happens in general, we we add the the ya yeah at the end to make it feminine. So shu ma'aki or shu ma'ak, both are the same thing. It's just that the ma has two construct forms. Um, and then Im Yazan says, لا بس بس جاي أعطيك هل أكم حب كبة دوئهم. So uh, no, I have. I'm just coming to give you. Notice this. So she's saying these few kubbes. I'll break this down in a second for you to taste them, right? So um, أكم 
means a few, or it can, well, it can be used as a question to ask how many, but it can also be used as, uh, to say, a few. But when you, we use it that way, we have to use the singular with it, actually. So it's some, for example, uh, I don't know, some cup. So, akam min or akam kase. Mish akam kasat. Kasat is the plural, right? But it's not akam kasat, it's akam kase. So, it's just uh, you, you use akam, even though it means some, you use it with a singular. So, uh, that's why we use habbit uh, kubbe in the singular. So, kubbe is the, the kubbe, the food, and habbe is like uh, often used for counting things, basically. So, Okay, kubbe can be as many as you want, but habbe is one kubbe, one one piece of one thing of kubbe. It's often used. It's used for a lot of things. Like I don't know, e even you know, like habbe um, cola uh, would be like a can of cola, like a one piece, one piece of cola, one unit of cola. It's like a unit almost. It's not actually what it means, but um, but it's used in that way. So this means one kubbe. And we say that because uh, she uses akam, so which is some, and then you use a singular. So this some, this few of, uh, yeah, so ha, ha, like ha, the, right? Um, this some of kubbe, basically, that's what's going on here. But that's how you say some or a few kubbes. Um, okay, so utila'u bishahu. Shaha is like to be appetizing or, you know, so they and Tila is like to not just to go to leave a place, but also like to turn out a certain way. So they turned out appetizing, like super delicious. And Kul Habbe Mithil Ukhta. So every Habbe, every single one basically is kind of the intended meaning here. Uh, and every single one is like Ukhta, like its sister basically, but like means like like the other, you know, all, they're all like each other. They they all turned out like its sister. Um, and then Imsanadi it says, "Yeah, mas mas karihatom, how delicious their smell." Oh, shekel hom ratta bektir. I translated this as put together, but I would change that maybe now to just like very, um, you know, well done, like or you know, ratta just means like great or you know. Um, or be like beautiful or like nice or you know like il bayt kthir mratab like the the house is really nice it's like super nice i don't know how to put it but it's like put together maybe i mean i guess that's fine that's literally because ratab means to organize something or to like yeah to organize so it's like saying organized but it means like nice or like well good looking or like well made um uh, okay, anyway, Tislam uh, Hal like just bless these hands, literally, but it's just saying, um, um, you know, good job, whatever. It's just an expression. So, Ma Kan Fi Da'i, I like this expression. Uh, so, Da'i is like literally a call for something, like uh, Da is to, to call, to, to, to summon, I guess. It's not really used that much as a verb in the dialect. Uh, but the active participle, yes, and it's like a, a call. Um, it, you know, yeah, it's so. Makanshvidai, or makanshvidai, literally, it's like saying it was uncalled for, right? It There was no call, so it was uncalled for, right? So it was uncalled for for you to trelbi halik, which is to bother yourself, to trouble yourself, im yazan. Of course, uncalled for is usually used in a negative way in English. Like, you know, his his negative his insulting comments were uncalled for. But it's used in the in in Arabic in in any case where it's like you didn't need to do that. So that's what that means there. So you didn't need to bother yourself. Yani um, mazboot. So it's true. In yani mazboot atayetek el wasfe. It's true that I or it's right that I gave you the recipe wasfe. But you know, uh, there's no day, there's there's no need for the trouble. Is <clears throat> Ajabuki, uh, she just ignores that. Um, of course, so Imyazan says, Is Ajabuki, if you liked them. Again, remember that Ajab, <clears throat> which um, it doesn't really mean to like, it means to to be pleased by something, or rather, 
let's put it this way. It's used with the meaning of to like, but its real meaning is to please or to, to impress or, you know, to amaze. So the actual subject of that is whatever you like, and you are the one who receives that. So, ajabuki, mina ajabuni, like, or, like, who impressed me? The kubbis. And who was impressed by them? Ana, right? So, uh, even though, yani, ajabuni il kubbe, no, um, it means I liked them. The actual sort of construction is they impressed me or it pleased me or whatever. So is ajabuki if you liked them, if they impressed you, but that amil command, I can make more. Yani is a bit duck musade. Yani if you need help, if bit duck if you want or if you need help. I guess with like having food at home or you know like just you don't want to cook and so I can make you some or whatever. Uh amil command tabuli. Sirt amil, remember, sar, it can mean to happen, to become, but also to start doing something. So, yeah, initiating some kind of action or a change in state also. Um, that's why, that's really what the becomes, you know, to become means to change in state. And, but it's not just a change in state in Arabic, it can also be a change in kind of like an action. So, I wasn't doing something and then I started doing it. So, that's how it means to start. So, sirt amel, I became doing, I started to do, uh, also, or to make, uh, also tabbule, which is the kind of salad. Or uh, dawali, which is what anab, which is like the grape leaf wrap things. And mahashi, which is like stuffed vegetables. Tul amrak fannane, miyazan. So, fannane, uh, an artist. So, your whole life, an artist. Yes, and you've always been an artist. Um, so come in for me to make you drink something. So to give you something to drink. So shut up to drink. Shut up to to make someone drink something. Think about it as like um, we have the word to feed, right? Like to give food. We don't have in English a word for to make someone drink, but it's like that. It's like instead of feeding, it's for like drink. So I'm going to make you drink something. So come in, so I'll, you know, give you something to drink. Uh, what? Are we, are we going to, yeah. See, it's funny, you know, even though bitna has, or bit has several meanings, it always seems kind of clear which one it is to me. So I think it's something you kind of get used to and just, it doesn't become confusing anymore that it's like, can mean I want or I will do something or I need something. It usually ends up being clear from context. So bitna, like... Are we going to ndolna to stay um, or to keep doing something? Wa'fin, wa'if is standing, so wa'fin the plural, al bab at the door. Um, the only thing I want to mention is that dal means to stay, right? And but the usage is usually with a suffix for some reason. It's kind of doesn't make that much sense why, but yeah. So uh, you can actually say bidnan dal, that's fine, or bidnan dalna. It's, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's, I think, I almost think this way is more common. So, I want to stay at home. I don't know, are you, do you, are you going to stay at work? Are we going to stay standing at the, at the door? Yeah. So often used with the suffix. تمام لا في أكم صحن بدي أعطيهم لإم إنصاف والجيران. Uh, do a command. So, la, uh, no, there are, see, again, a kam, right, with singular, sahin, it's a singular plate. So, there are a few sahin, a few plates, uh, dishes, that I want to give them to Imin Saf, it's a, her, her friend, and the neighbors. Uh, also, a tasting. Do, or that means to taste. Do is like a taste. So a, a tasting, um, it's kind of like a verbal noun, I guess. Um, so yeah. Um, okay. خليني أوصلهم قبل ما يبردوا. سلام. So let me أوصلهم. Uh, so وصل uh, means to arrive. وصل means to 
has a lot of meaning. It has even more meanings than wusin, actually. It's like, um, to deliver is probably a pretty close translation. It means to connect something, to deliver something, to, like, to give someone a ride somewhere, for example. Oh, that's a really common use. But it's all kind of the same thing. It basically means, like, to take some, like, to make something arrive, right? So wusin means to arrive. So wasal means to make something arrive. So to bring something from point A to point B. So, uh, I'm gonna, I, I want to give you a ride home. I want to make you arrive home, right? I want to connect the cable. I want to make it kind of bring it from point A to point B. I want to, uh, to bring these plates from point A to point B, right? Deliver them before they yobrodu. So, uh, Yobrod, you know, it gets cold, right? So I want to deliver these plates before, or let me deliver them before they get cold. Salam, bye. Salam, habibti. Yammi bishahu. So she's talking about the kubbi. So that's self explanatory. All right. Uh, where are we on time? Okay, fine. We're doing fine, I think. Okay, uh, then Abu Sanad keeps saying some fosha stuff um, before the start of the scene. Because he's trying to investigate, like, who's stealing the food or whatever. So, and there's kind of two things going on. Then Im Sanad is, like, looking at her... Im Sanad is lo looking at Sally's grades. She's like, Sefer, Sally. Like, she got a zero. Like, Sefer is zero. Um, that, so that's kind of another thing going on. And then Abu Sanad stops someone who was going to the fridge and going to take out food. And then he's like, what if I'm dek u irfa idek? Sanad. So he says, what if I'm that? So uh, stop I'm that, like where you are. Uirfa and raise your hands. And then he realizes it's Sanad. And then there's a bit of a change in scene kind of. Like they now they're kind of sitting with the children. And Abu Sanad says, So we like now we want to understand what's going on. أنت وين عم بتروح بكل هالأكل؟ so أنت سند where are you going وين عم بتروح؟ um, okay بكل هالأكل يعني with all of this food um, yes uh, هلا I think that makes sense but I kind of want to point out something interesting you know that in the usually I say that عم and the active participle are mutually exclusive what do I mean by that uh, you know, I say like, like some verbs to express an ongoing action use the active participle. Like, ana rayh al bed. I'm going to the house. Uh, verbs that don't have an active participle that works that way, you just use am. So, for example, katab. For example, as I said, the the active participle katab means I have written something. So how do I say it as an ongoing action? I say am. Am bakto. I'm writing right now. Um, usually I say it's like a verb either works one way or the other, either with an active participle or am to express the ongoing action. But notice that here he says am bitruh rather than rayah. So what's the difference? The difference is that rayah, it's literally an ongoing action. Well, even though am is as well, but um, actually you could use rayah here. Um, but because bitruh would not be an ongoing action by itself, but rather a habitual action, the ambitruh kind of sounds to me more like, um, where do you keep on going with all of this food? You know, like, not where are you going right now, but like, where are you going in general with all of this food? Um, but you know, actually, this, this, it's not really like there's a right or wrong here. You could have said, Enta, uh, where are you going with all of this food? Uh, um, but you know, I think it's a gradient. بتروح would be a bit more general. Where do you where do you go with all of this food, or where are you going? It's because in the first place, the I, the present tense can have both a habitual and a ongoing meaning. So this is on one end. عوين بتروح is kind of the most general. عوين رايح it's the most immediate, like the most right now you're going. And Ambitruh is kind of like, where do you keep on going? It's kind of somewhere in the middle. Um, so, yeah. Um, Im Sanad says, Wenti Sali, because they're all kind of confronting each other. So, 
وانت سالي وات ابوت يو سالي كيف اخذتي سفر في ال, في التلخيص بعد كل هالتعب سو اند يو سالي هاو ديد يو جيت زيرو اون ذا سامري افتر اول اوف ذس اكزوشن افتر اول اوف ذس افورت بيسكلي ام اي ثينك ذاتس اولسو كايند اوف سيلف اكسبلاناتوري ذن سند سيد بصراحه اونستلي يا زين صار له فتره مش عم بجيب معه اكل على المدرسه سو يا زين صار له فتره نو اي ثينك يو بروبلي هاف هيرد مي توك اباوت ذس بيفور بت صار بلس الى بلس ذس سورت اوف لا سمون اتس يو تو سي ات he has been doing something or you know yeah basically so um so sorry blank wanna yani and while i'm doing 1 2 3 it means i have been doing 1 2 3 for a certain period of time now the thing is like this whole expression has four elements there's the sar there's the ila so sar lo and then number three, you have to have a period of time So you have to say, you can't just say صار له مش عم بجيب لا, you need a period of time. صار لي أسبوع, it's I have been doing something for a week. صار لي سنتين, I've been doing something for two years. صار لي فترة, it's been a while. Like I've, because فترة is like a certain period of time. It's kind of a while basically. So صار له, so صار له فترة, it has been for him it has become for him a while and then whatever that action is or so mish am bijib ma'u akil al madrasa so that's kind of the fourth part so he hasn't been yazan hasn't been for a while uh so for a while it hasn't been for him and how or rather mm, <laughs> I'm kind of trying to fit, fit in this clause in, in, in English, make it sound normal in English. So, for a while, Yazan, it has. Mm, um, Yazan has been for a while not bringing, that's it. Yazan has been for a while not bringing uh, with him food to school. Okay, that took me too much effort. Wala il ashia ili bihabha. Nor. Wala is also, see, it, we talked about it just a little moment ago. Um, it means no, none, or like nor, depending on the situation. So, um, actually, this, I could also change this translation a little bit. In fact, um, I should revise all these translations just a little bit. Um, so, um, as I said, wala is she na thing, like no thing, right? Wala makan, nowhere. Wala yumkin, no way. Uh, but it can also be kind of used as it, its other meaning is kind of nor, right? So wala ana means me neither or nor me. So um, yeah. So if you say I don't like, I don't know, coffee, wala ana, nor do I, basically, nor I, ni- neither do I, me neither, whatever. So in this case, actually, a better translation is nor, so he's not bringing food to school nor the things that he likes like or, or or the things that he likes either like he's not bringing this or that um so it's kind of like or in a way in this sentence uh asalo and so kulma is like kul means obviously every something so obviously every time that's which is what i wrote here every time would be kul marra right but you can actually use kul not with a noun but with a verb but if we do that we have to connect them with ma so remember that ma has a, a connective meaning well a connective function let's say so ba'd uh, al after the party like kul marra every time <clears throat> but whenever we want to connect nouns or prepositions or whatever else with a verb we have to connect them with ma so um bad ma ruhit after i went the ma has no meaning it's just connecting them so i want to say like every time i ask him we don't even need to use the word time i can say kul as'alo 
and then connect them with Mac. Kol ma asalo every time I ask him, leish why? I, the why is missing here. But anyway, kol ma asalo leish every time I ask him why, ma bilod he doesn't answer. Tamam? Fa ana emilit hek ashan asaido. So I did this, you know, stealing the food from the fridge, um, from his own house to help him. Ashan asaido. Um, tamam. Wana so Sally. Wana rana alatilli. Uh, yes. Uh, وأنا رنا على تلي إنها مش قادرة تشتري الرواية. So they had to summarize a book, right? So أنا. So as for me, وأنا رنا على تلي. Yeah, notice that we have أنا رنا. تمام. But this is like the topic. So and as for me, رنا told me that she is not able قادرة تشتري الرواية to buy the novel. عشان هيك ما لخصت. Oh, unless it's yeah no. I I shouldn't make uh, what. Okay, yeah, it's kind of the order of things in the Arabic. It's kind of um, like the the story is kind of funky, and so and that's why I didn't summarize. But actually, the reason is because she gave her the book, but she hasn't said that yet. So anyway, so uh, Rana told her that that she couldn't buy the novel, and that's why I didn't summarize. Uh, and ukanat. هي رنا رنا was كتير مهرجة so she was very embarrassed والآن stressed or stressed worried شو راح تحكي للمعلمة so so and رنا was very embarrassed and stressed what she's going to tell to the teacher ودم الصف in front of the class because she couldn't buy the thing فعطيتها كتابي so I gave her my book and that's why she didn't summarize so that's why I don't know the the script is like weird so uh, and I gave her my book وما لحقت أنا ألخص so so I gave her my book and لحقت لحقت means um yeah to manage to manage it means like to um well yeah to manage but not management as in أدار like which is like to manage like the the I don't know the company or something. It's managed like to make it on time. So no, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna yeah, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna reach in time. Uh Like I'm not gonna make it on time for the transportation before it ends or something. Like the buses, you know. So um I didn't manage or I didn't make like I wasn't able to summarize on time. Um, so yeah, Yaulad. So Abu Sanad says, Yaulad, and I am fikum. So when you're happy about something or with someone or something like that, you, we use the preposition fi. So I am fikum. I'm very happy with you. O billi billi amil tu. So and with what you did. Notice that uh, I've mentioned this before. Fi and b are are. They're they're literally I I mean I guess you could say they're really the same word, um, or that they're not the same word, but they're used in exactly the same way with all the same meanings. The thing is like why do I say that they're the same word because, um, like, they cannot be used in the same place oftentimes. Like there are some things that only fee can do, and there are some things that only b can do. So for example. Um, B cannot be used as a single standalone word, whereas fee can. Uh, fee can be used that way. Uh, fee el bed or bil bed. B basically only attaches to something. It can't be by itself, right? But ironically, uh, B cannot take suffixes, but fee can. So that's why here he says fee kom u bi el amelto. Didn't I tell you that mabsud is used with a preposition fee? Well, fee and b are the same. So it's here. It's not that he used two different ones. It's that it's the same one. It's just that fee must be used if you're going to use a suffix because b cannot. You can't say bikum. That doesn't work in Palestinian Arabic. It does work in fusha. In fact, it must be that way in fusha. And I guess in other dialects, like I guess in Egyptian, but in Palestinian Arabic. B can not take suffixes, so whenever you want to use that preposition, you have to use fi, and that's why we also say fi um, akil. You know, we we don't we don't say b akil. We say fi akil because b cannot take prepositions, and it must be attached to something. 
So, um, yeah, they're the same, but it's just that they're kind of in complementary distribution, I guess is what you could say. Like, they're used in separate, like, situations. Um, but with, but is like, almost just one single word in a way. What? Okay. Tamam. Um, when to hasse to fi sahabkum. So, has means to feel. Has fi hada to feel in someone it means um to sympathize so and you has said to fish hobcom and you sympathized you sympathized with your friends oh uh the okay and you sacrificed ashen home the high i need to sacrifice so the hey to ashen so you sacrifice for them um low haketulna if you told us, لو حكتولنا كنا منقدر نساعد أكثر كمان. If you told us, we would have been able to help more. مزبوط says in in سند. الواحد لازم يساعد. So one must help. But Sally, but Sally, لو حكتيل لو حكتيلي. Oh no, لو حكتيلنا. If you told us, كنت أنا راح أشتري لها الكتاب. I would have uh, bought her the book. Notice that. Um, Lao means if, but in a counter, um, what's the word? Counterfactual way. So, Iza means if about something that will possibly happen. Lao is if for something that definitely will not happen or definitely did not happen, or is like more contrary to fact. So, had you told us, if you had told us, and then the thing about it is that we can optionally, notice it's optional, um, uh, we use kunt or yani we use can um, and it doesn't really have any meaning other than like would have so if you had told us I would have bought her the book and you wouldn't have uh, gotten uh, a zero and again here so the, this can is optional so I can say uh, يعني أنا well أنا شريت لها I wouldn't have used راح أنا شريت لها الكتاب وما أخذت سفر and so I could not have this and I could also have it here so كنت أنا راح أشتري لها الكتاب وكنت ما أخذت سفر كنت ما أخذت سفر so it's totally optional and that's what I'm trying to say um, okay دقيقة just a minute معقول عشان هيك إم يزن عم تطبخ Ma'ul is like, could it be? So, just a second, uh, or uh, sorry, a minute. Could it be that because of this, because that, because I guess they're short on money, Imyazan uh, is cooking, and she's sending us to taste every little while, basically because she's selling food, I guess. She's cooking and, and selling. Or, no, I think, yeah, that, that's what it is. Um, she's like selling the food. Um, كيف ما كيف ما انتبهت ولا حتى ربطت. So انتبهت to notice and ربط is to it means to tie, but it's like to make the connection, right? So how did I not notice or even right? ولا see it's here it uses or. Basically, it's it means or when you use something negative, right? So um, I don't know. أهوى أو Shay, coffee or uh, like, matalan, bit um, bit di ahwe au shay. So I want coffee or tea. But if I use the negative, ma bidish ahwe wala shay. I don't want coffee or tea. But the but because it's negative, we use wala. So basically, I is for uh, or but affirmative, and then wala is or but negative. So, uh, how did I neither notice or even uh, make the connection? Mama, احنا لازم نعمل إشي. Sanad says, Mama, we have to do something. هم ما بيقولوا. They don't say. بس أكيد محتاجين مساعدتنا. So, they don't say, but they, de- like, certainly, of course, definitely, they need our help. خلي الموضوع علي. So, leave the issue to me. On me. علي. Um... 
on me. Okay, so ana ba'rif shu rah amal. So I know what I'm going to do. I think this is the last scene, inshallah. Yes, okay, because we need to wrap it up. Um, okay, so Im Yazan says, Mishik ya Abu Yazan. Now they're just kind of, it's just kind of a conclusion. They're kind of cooking and fighting. Mishik ya Abu Yazan. Atta il ba'dun is na'im. So atta uh, to cut, and na'im is like uh, finely. Na'im is actually soft or like fine, you know, like diced. Um, and yeah, so atta, like to cut. Uh, but dunis is parsley. Um, now, it tabule, the tabule, bidha ta'ati na'im. So uh, obviously, if you add tabule, you need to, it's like little tiny flakes. So uh, tabule needs fine dicing. And I'm in Hague, finer than this. Uh, then uh, Imiazan says, Hey, hey, Ijana, Kaman orderen, order, yani an order, it's the English word, orderen kubbe. So, hey, it's like here, just like here they are, like here, voila, like here it is. So, when you use it with a verb, it means like in the immediate past or present or future. So, hey, Ijana, we, we just got, um, hey, Ijana, Kaman orderen kubbe, we just got. Or we just, they just arrived to us, uh, another two orders of kubbe. Hadir halak, so get ready. La mish kubbe, no, not kubbe. Yi, hey, jaritna, oh, hey, like this is, right? So, yi, hey, jaritna fil amara tani. This is our neighbor in the other building. Kaman bidha tabkha mahashi. She also wants a plate. Tabkha is like a, a dish, but not like in the sense of a plate, but like a, a dish, a food dish, right? So she also wants a dish of, or like a, it doesn't make sense in English, a dish of uh, stuffed vegetables, but like uh, an, a, a meal of stuffed vegetables, a portion of, uh, yeah, a meal. Um, she also wants a meal of uh, stuffed vegetables. Mahashi. Min wait ma amilat ah no. Min wait ma amilat im sanad hal group. So like a WhatsApp group basically. So min wait again. Uh, wait time, right? Amilat uh, she made. So from the time that she made. Well, here we have some kind of phrase and then a verb. We need to connect it with ma. So it's not negative. So min wa'it, from the time, ma, she made, that she, like, from the time she made, min wa'it ma'im lat im sanad hal group, from the time that Im Yazan made this group, what? We still met the taswi, we should not. Okay, alhamdulillah. Okay, so taswi is marketing, should work, obviously, not as fire, but it means, like, amazing, like, great. So, um, the, the thing about the U, right, even though, uh, okay, so, istalam uh, is to, to, to accept or like to receive or like to, so in, in her case, to take over the marketing, right? So, uh, Im Sanad, so from the time that Im Sanad made this group and took over the marketing, right, and then we have another U. But this u is the u of while or like simultaneous things. It can be a little bit confusing. Um, the, what gives it away is that this verb is conjugated for im sanat. So you know that you're saying, okay, he im let el group was sweet. So these kind of two things actually are connected in a sequence with u. This u is different though. This one is about like sorli santen matalan. I have for two years, sorry, Santen, one of Adros Arabi, Matalan. It has been two years, one while I'm studying Arabic. So uh, it means while. So, while I was young, or when I was young, I really love chocolate. So just doesn't mean and I'm small. It means when I was young, literally. So from the moment she made this group and and took over the marketing, 
the work has been great. Yeah, I mean, even the, well, um, yeah, it's, it's, it kind of, if you just translate it as while, it doesn't really fit the sentence in English, while the word has been great. But remember, it's about a simultaneous action. So since that happened, the work has been great, like that whole time, simultaneously, basically. So it kind of doesn't really translate. Um, but that's what it means. So anyway, hey, again, here is Hey, Imam Saf, tis'al at-talabiyyeh. Talabiyyeh is the actual Arabic word for order, by the way. Mish order, but anyway, talabiyyeh. So here's Imam Saf. She's asking about, uh, or asking about the uh, order. Rah atla wa wasilha iyaha. So I'm going to go up and awasil, again, to... To take, see, to take it to her, right? To deliver it to her. Awasilha. So, awasil, uh, to to deliver. Ha, or ilha, to her, right? And then iyaha, remember, it's the it's for the direct object. When we have the il, ila to someone, when someone receives the action, the uh, object kind of gets detached, right? So, iyaha. So, there's two ha. This one, awasilha, means awasil la im insaf. And the second iyaha, the ha is referring to the talabiyya. So, raha wasilha, I'm going to deliver to im insaf, iyaha, the talabiyya. Mish chalfe wana mish hon. Don't uh, let it not be that you're going, that you will, uh, so that's why it's like mish instead of ma, but it's the same thing. So, uh, don't. Slack off, shalfa, yani to slack off basically. Don't slack off. Wana, see, wana mishon. Wana, while I'm not here, right? And I'm not here. Atta il basal naam. So dice the onions finely. Hadir. It means like Roger, you know, like kind of like in the, like, okay, like, anyway, yes, it just means yes. It's like, you know, received, like, copied copied um so yeah finally that was part two of uh, the fifth annotated transcript which was a long time in coming and i um as i said check out the website i will probably make the sixth one soon because honestly um you know since i've been working on the website i haven't been making videos which is fine because i mean this obviously i mean we've, i've come a long way with all this stuff and um I think I'm really proud of uh, what it looks like. <laughs> it's uh, lots of fun. So uh, I'm, I, I don't regret kind of uh, sort of putting the videos on a back burner, but I don't want to stop completely. So at the very least, I can make some two more annotated transcript videos or like, you know, part one and two of the sixth one. And then probably after that, um, I think I'll be in a good place to start making videos again. But um, that also depends on my living situation and like, you know, what my next steps are. So we'll be in touch. But uh, yeah, take care and um, I will see you next time.